Today on Art Scene will feature from Bella Diva Dance, Bollywood, a Mayor's Awards for Excellence in Arts and Culture winner, Crush, an excerpt from local filmmaker Edward Doan, Clown Gun, a music video from local artist Megan Burt, and a program of neighborhood art, P.S. You Are Here. Hey, I'm Bobby LaFevre. Art Scene continues to bring you more of the amazing arts here in Denver. And this time up, it's Bollywood. We'll get to this cool dancing in just a moment, but first up, a program from Denver Arts and Menus that brings great art into our communities. P.S. You Are Here. This P.S. You Are Here grant funding opportunity is really important because it provides a unique avenue to get innovative projects done. P.S. You Are Here connects artists to the city in a way that galleries cannot. We are here for this amazing prayer wheel. This is one of three prayer wheels that artist Deborah Zhang has placed in neighborhoods around the city. There's one here in Five Points, there's one in Westwood, and there's one in La Alma. I thought it would be great to use the ancient tradition of the Tibetan prayer wheel as kind of a metaphor for community engagement to bring neighborhoods together in creation of an interactive art installation. There is a huge, diverse population in this part of the city and all of the people here need to find something that brings them home and finds peace. That's what this canister does for us. So the Sun Valley Dumpster Beautification Project, basically what we're doing is going to all the housing projects and painting the dumpsters that uh, are out in front of the street. We wanted to decorate them a little bit for this community, kind of give them ownership of their own space. The people in the neighborhood get to see these dumpsters every day, so we want to make sure that we paint this for them and not necessarily for the artists. These dumpsters will always be here, so we wanted to make sure that we could clean them up, make them look nice, so they're not just dumpsters anymore, they're a piece of art. The project was a mural painted on the sidewalk at Colfax and Quince. The core reason that this project was good for the community is because we're trying to continuously build on this theme of drawing attention to crossing Colfax. It brings a lot of color and excitement down to uh, an area of Colfax that most people just fly by, but they don't realize that there's a lot of vibrance and life and diversity down in this area of Colfax. It was nice to have a project like this to choose something really concrete and activate a block to get people out on their feet and seeing art. We wanted to sort of implement something that everybody could see and, and use too. We partnered together to work on ideas and projects which would bring art to a proposed urban trail called the 303 Artway. On 40th in Colorado, these are gonna be put under a mural that has similar colors, but it's gonna be like the colors have been spread out throughout the rocks. One of the great things about the cultural plan is that we were able to collaborate with the Northeast Transportation Connections, Urban Land Conservancy, Birdseed Collective, all sorts of other entities where when we come together we all have collectively been able to support each other in the success of the project. Next up, a music video from one of our great local artists, Megan Burt.
We'll be right back with more art scene on the other side, including Crush, an excerpt from a local short film, Clown Gun, and Bollywood. All right, we are back on art scene. It's game time, time to dance. Tell me a little bit about Bollywood. How did it get started and how did you get into Bollywood? So Bollywood's an interesting question. It's not actually a form of dance. Oh. It's actually a film industry. It's the Hindi film industry in India, which actually produces more movies per capita per year than America and Hollywood does. And so the dancing that you find in Bollywood can be classical Indian dance from Bharat Natyam, Katak, we have Bhangra, and then you'll actually see it fused with hip hop, jazz, belly dance, more modern forms of dance. So Bollywood is actually a fusion of dances that you will find within the Bollywood movies. Got it, got it. And how did you get into this particular culture of dance? So I, I traveled to India in 2001. I was studying in Chennai. It's a large country and I was in the southeast um, part of the country and I got exposed to it for the first time and it was amazing. And so when I came back to Colorado, I really wanted to find those international dance forms. And talk to us a little bit about how it is is to run a dance company and teach this to folks that aren't of that tradition. So I think one needs to be really sensitive to the fact that we are instructing dances that are not from our primary culture. And so it's really important to have cultural context about where these dancers are coming from. Sure. You know, what, what's the history? What are the roots? What are the stories behind it? It's really important for us to actually translate the meaning of all the songs and lyrics. Fortunately, here at the school, we actually have a lot of international dancers. We have Nishita Laliwala, who is from India, and she does our classical Indian dance. Mm -hmm. And so she's able to translate a lot of the songs for me. So I feel that if you come from it from a, a, a place of really wanting to honor and respect the cultures, you're appreciating it and that's very different than just finding something on YouTube and mimicking the movements without having the context behind it. That's really really important that's amazing that you do that and take the time to, to do that in, in the right way yes. uh, and so tell us about your teacher so what else besides you know what we're doing tonight do you teach tell us about your classes and what you do here. So we do lots of different dance styles we don't do your primary Western forms of dance we do Middle Eastern belly dance Brazilian Samba Bollywood, classical Indian dance. We also have a good hula Polynesian class. Mm -hmm. And then we have a Bali X teacher. Who, it's like a Bollywood fitness class and Grace is the instructor for that. I teach a class called Bali X Fitness, which is a dance fitness format, kind of like Zumba, mm -hmm. um, except we dance to Bollywood music and Bhangra music and traditional folk music. And I teach that class on Mondays here at Bella Diva Dance at 5.30, and we just have a great time. We have a Bollywood party. I teach Kids World Dance class, and the kids are ages 6 to 12. Well, what's one of your favorite things about uh, working with young people? Oh my gosh, they're so inquisitive and they're so willing and accepting of everything. They don't really care about their body image, so they're willing to try any crazy moves and they're like, oh, that's fun, I want to do it again. Yeah. And they let me call things funny things like flick the water or, you know, like rock that mm -hmm. baby. And they absolutely love it, so it's just so much fun. What's your favorite part about your work as an instructor? Oh gosh, I love, I just love sharing my love of dance with people. I get to find great music and share it with people and get everybody excited and sweaty and having a good workout mm -hmm. and just enjoying music. It's just fun for me. What do you think is the role that dance can play in, in society in general? What's the, why dance? I personally dance because it frees my soul and I think everyone should try it. Mm -hmm. It's just so freeing and it's just an expression. You don't have to say anything. It's just movement. Mm -hmm. What do you wonderful. say for the people that say, oh, I can't dance at all? I think anybody can dance. All you have to do is just be able to hear music yeah. or, or not yeah, yeah. and just be willing to not care what you look like and just have fun. We 
have all levels. So you can be a very beginner, never danced before. Yeah. And our, our motto is that dance is for everybody. We really believe that you know, it doesn't matter what size, shape, background, age you are, dance can be very empowering and everybody is welcome to do it. That's amazing. And I'm going to maybe be doing some stuff yes, here with you, you all are. tonight. We're I'm, teach I'm watching you a few these moves. ladies do the thing and I'm like, okay. We have a very, very special plan for you. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, let's get to it. Some moves. All right. We have all these backup dancers for yes. you. All right. So first thing we're gonna learn to do is we're gonna learn to twist the light bulb. Okay. So bring both hands up like this. All right. And we're gonna bend our knees and we're gonna drop the elbows and we're gonna twist. Yes. We say chuck day. Day. That means awesome uh, in Hindi. Yes. All right. All right. You got that first one. I think so. You got to twist the light bulb. Got it. All right. So now we're gonna punch it out. So you're gonna punch the right fist down. And now we're gonna sit back and twist both hands as you sit back. All right, so, should we teach them some Bhangra? <laughs> Yay, Bhangra! So, this is our favorite. This is from the region of Punjab. You gotta shrug those shoulders. Okay, so all we're gonna do is we're going to be tapping the right foot in front and then left foot in front. And you're gonna be doing that as you twist the light bulb. He's rocking it out, good job, yay! Yeah, last fun. one. Okay. We're going to be bringing our foot up and you're going to bend it and you're going to kick and then kick it in again. And we're going to hop to the other foot. Good job, Bobby! Yeah, right, cool. That was just the tip of the iceberg. Oh, no, no, I thought I thought it was it. <laughs> no, it's not. Now the dancers, we're going to come and dance with you. We okay. call this freestyle. Okay. So you have your moves. You have some reps, right? Okay, yes. You got twist the light bulb. Twist the light bulb. We got punching it punching out. Punching it here. out, right, right. Yeah, you got yep. your basic bangara move, okay. the Punjab move. Right. Yeah, we got your Charles squat, the uh -huh. hey-ho. Right. And then you can just make it up. And these ladies are gonna come and dance with you. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you though. I'm okay, gonna, I'm not going gonna, anywhere. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. All right, all right, all right. You guys ready? There we go. Say hello to Bobby. Ah, I lost it. <laughs> you I'm know fine. what you're gonna do? Wow. And boom. Good. My girly moves. You get to do your right. guy moves. Alright, alright, alright. Um, what does that look like? I don't know what guy moves are. You got you gotta you got, you got, you got, you twist the oh, light yeah, bulb. Oh yeah, twist the light bulb. Always twist the light bulb. That's you the, can always that, do I that. like that. Yes. Yeah. That was something like this, right? Yes, uh, like a kick one. Uh, you gotta go in. in. Kick and in. Yes, up in this <laughs> yes, that's great. Yeah, good job, buddy. You sweating? A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> Chate! How awesome is this? And speaking of awesome, one of the Mayor's Awards for Excellence in Arts and Culture winners is Colorado Crush. When you have a city that's developing so much, having a strong art component to it makes it that more desirable to live. It brings a lot more foot traffic, a lot more interest to an area. Like this is a designated like area to go visit now in Denver because of all the artwork, because it's an open gallery, because people don't have to feel like they have to belong to a certain crowd to go into a gallery and enjoy art or get an invite to something. And you know, they're out in the streets and it's for everyone. So the attention that it's brought to the area just because of the artwork alone has been great. Um, great for businesses, great for the artist community, great for the community at large. It's kind of brought in the whole neighborhood to life. My role really with, with Crush is to go out and find believers in the project, right? Developers, property owners, um, business owners who are willing to donate financially to get artwork on their building and be a part of this community project. We're really trying to make it culturally relevant knowing that the development was always coming. We worked and fought extremely hard through the mural project to get the art up on the walls before the development really came to really lock in the roots of the neighborhood, that this stuff always existed here. 
We're looking for really solid content and doing public art for the city of Denver. We always like to work with the city as much as we can and be hand in hand and have the art speak to the values of the city and have the city values come through in the art that they help support as well. We're only as strong as our community and that this could go away without continued support from public and private sectors that we really strive to work with the community and hope that the core values that we embrace are accepted and supported in the future. Crush's strongest element is, is that it finds these roadblocks and obstacles and overcomes them to strengthen the community through art. I think we all know how many people are moving to Denver on a regular, how many other districts and communities may need or want the same type of experience that Crush has given to what we know as the Rhino Art District neighborhood. To be able to offer that to, to truly anyone to help change an environment, to shed a light on a community that may need some more love. It is, for the most part, community-based and that it's important to continue to foster and grow that, but not only just here, but we want to expand nationally and internationally, continue to build uh, connections with other people who are doing similar things in different states and cities and countries so that we can continue to build a bigger, stronger community. Next up, an excerpt from a short film from local filmmaker Edward Doan. Clown Gun tells a story of a woman who just wants to be heard, seen, and maybe even validated, even if she has to take a hostage to prove her point. Kayla, you are hopeless. Someone else has had the gun all my life. Now I'm keeping it. I'll see you later, Preciosa. I love it when you talk Spanish to me. Go get the kids. Yep. Hello, this is Bob. Hang up, Tony. Preciosa. Grow up. It's Bob. Shut the car off, Bob. Why? This is your big chance. I need somebody to listen to me. Why me? What do you believe, Bob? What the hell are you talking about? Believe? What do you mean, what do I believe? I'm talking about reality, Bob. What's real and what's not. I remember a car crash. My parents, I think, and... And after they died, I remember a circus... Okay, what are you doing? What, what, were you telling me your whole life story? This is your big chance. I need someone to listen to me. Why me? After the car crash, my Uncle Derek took me in. He was the strong man in a circus. The whole troop lived together in one large hotel room in Florida. What does this have to do with anything? Because it's my life! So? And I have the gun. <laughs> Uncle Derek ignored me. Never listened to me. He was mean to me. Boo-hoo. What am I, your therapist? He always told me that when you walk on your hands, you have to make it look effortless. But it's hard. Uh, I'm sure it's hard. Of course it's hard! That's why we're in the circus. And everyone else is a mark. Everybody else is a mark. So that's what you call us? They taught me the trapeze. I could fly. I was the star of the show. But then, I fell. Were you hurt? Oh, sure. I almost died. When I got out of the hospital and returned to the troops' hotel room, they threw a big surprise party for me. That was nice. They cared about me so much. So they put me in this program for gifted teenagers. Gifted? Because you could do the trapeze? Maybe it was the head injury when I fell, but ever since then I could see moments in the future. I saw a little boy in my head. He had wandered off and gotten lost. I had these flashes. Flashes? Flashes. Or delusions.
Did I mention that this was fun? Hey, thanks to Bella Diva Dance for having us. I'm Bobby Lefebvre. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time as we discover more of Denver's art scene.